I'm Graham Wood and I have some questions concerning the University of Tasmania statement about the Voice to Parliament referendum. The University of Tasmania, UTAS, is currently curating a website that will help individuals in the Tasmanian and wider Australian communities understand the issues surrounding the upcoming referendum on the Voice to Parliament. Search the web for UTAS Voice to Parliament and you'll find it. When done well, this is an important service role the university has in society. However, this website includes a statement by the university that includes the following affirmation. Members of University Council, Academic Senate and the University Executive Team affirm their commitment to a yes vote. The content of the statement by the university and in particular the inclusion of the affirmation within that statement raise a number of interesting and important questions. However, there are two centrally important questions. Should a university be making a statement such as this at all? And in particular, should it include an affirmation about how members of leadership groups intend to vote? To address these questions, one could ask, what is the purpose of the statement and included affirmation? The statement and included affirmation may have a number of purposes, but one purpose might be to influence the way individuals vote in the upcoming referendum. If that is the purpose, that leads to another question. Should universities be seeking to influence the way individuals vote in a referendum in this way? This question relates to the role of universities. A university may serve the individuals in society best by acting as an intellectual authority on some question or other. Alternatively, a university may serve individuals in society best by acting to facilitate the intellectual autonomy of those individuals so that those individuals can answer some question or other for themselves. These distinct roles of acting as an intellectual authority and facilitating the intellectual autonomy of individuals are both important roles universities perform. And it is important to reflect on the value of both. And that leads to a final question. Should UTAS be acting as an intellectual authority or should it be facilitating the intellectual autonomy of individuals so that those individuals can decide for themselves how to vote in the upcoming referendum.